Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your leads and customers form and how to import your data from a Microsoft Excel.csv file. Your leads and contact form are probably the most important form in your CRM tool. It's the one that you will be looking at the most that contains the vital information that you have acquired about your customers and your leads. From our home screen, under Settings, we're going to click on Database. And under Database, we're going to click on Leads and Customers. This brings up your Leads and Customers form and the default system fields that are available to you. At this point, it is very helpful to have your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet in front of you because the fields will be your headings in the spreadsheet. One of the requirements is that the first row of your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet contain your headers. Let me give you an example. This is the spreadsheet that we are going to be using. As you can see, the first row contains our headers. Also, if you notice, we have three columns and headings that are not in our original leads and customers form, so they need to be added. Those are MDATE, EMP, and PCs. So let's add those three fields. To add a field, simply position your mouse cursor to the left and available field. Left click once, and here is where we can insert a field. So we need to give this field a name, label, and we will call that MD. Down here, you can make this field required, or you can make it so it cannot be changed. And we'll hit OK. Here's you can see our field that we just added. We need to add a couple more. So once again, left click, insert field, and the field label this time will be EMP. We'll click OK. And there's the field EMP that we have just added. And the last one we need to add is PCs. So once again, to the left of website in the open area, we will left click and insert a field. This field label will be PCs. Also, within this form, you can move these fields to wherever you'd like them by simply dragging and dropping. Okay. Now that we've added all of our custom fields, we need to press Save. and then click OK. Now that we've designed our leads and customers form, let's focus our attention to importing the data from our Microsoft Excel.csv file into the form that we just created. Let's go back to our home screen at this point, and under Settings, we're going to click Import. Once again, we will be importing from a CSV file, so we'll click Import from CSV file. Please pay, pay special attention to these notes under the Choose File box. This will help your import go smoothly. First, we'll choose the CSV file that we have created. In this case, it's called Import Example. Click on Import Example, and it displays the file right there. Then we need to choose a group to put these newly formed leads into. We could pick one from our drop-down, or we could create one. In this case, let's create one called Tutorial. Click on Add a New Group, and type Tutorial and then click Save. Next, we need to click the appropriate status for our lead. 
the status shows the various stages along your workflow. Workflow are the different stages that you traverse your con contacts, leads, and customers as they go through your sales process. There will be another video tutorial on workflow. So for this purpose, we'll choose lead. And then we'll click select. Okay. Now we see that we have the fields that we've added that we need to be present as part of our Excel spreadsheet. Now we need to map them to the corresponding fields within the CRM tool. We can do this two ways. We can do this by auto map or manually. Let's start with auto map. Auto map will look for like words and map them to the corresponding fields. So I'm going to click on auto map. As you can see, to the right, certain CRM fields were populated. The ones that were not populated show none. So we need to do, do those manually. For example, column two, we noticed first. So we'll come down here and we'll click first name. Column three, last. And then we'll click on last name. Column 7 shows address, and we'll map that to address 1. Column 9 shows ST, and we'll map that to state. Column 10 is zip, and of course we can map that to zip code. And then the last one that we have is web. And we can map that to website. Now once our fields are all mapped, we can save this map and use it again if we need to. To do that, we would click on Save Mapping and we'll enter a new map name. And we'll call this tutorial and click save okay now that all of our information is mapped we saved our settings now we're going to click import a box will appear that shows you how many records will be imported this should match the number of entries you had on your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So we'll click OK. A dialog box will appear to confirm your import request. And you will get an email telling you when it is finished. Now to test our import, we will go to the name of group that we put in. So we'll go back to our home screen. And we'll click on Leads and Customers. And we'll find the group called Tutorial. We'll click on that. And there is the information from our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Now we'll open a lead. And you could see that the files that we asked to be included are there. And date, and, and PC. Thank you for viewing this video tutorial. If you require more assistance, please click on the help button in the right hand corner of your screen and you will be directed to additional videos on other subjects and also a link to technical support.